Let's see if I got it right. Okay. We can now detect the amyloid plaque with a reasonable degree of accuracy. Yeah. And that's using a PET scan, which costs, I got to look, about how much? Uh, probably a couple thousand dollars. So it's an uh, unaffordable cost. How long before that becomes an affordable cost? Well, I think, I hope that as we learn more about it and it becomes more widespread, it will decrease. But I'll argue that it might even still be cost effective right now. How much does a colonoscopy cost? All right, so <laughs> it might get cheaper. So, <laughs> so then I find out that I have amyloid plaque, and suddenly you tell me I have an increased risk of the disease, but certainly no certainty of progression. Right. It's just I have a high likelihood of, a uh, much higher likelihood of incidence. Right. So I'm scared out of my mind at that point. Right, so I actually don't think that we're ready to be using a PET scan in the clinic. I think we may be able to use it in the clinic at the stage of dementia, where it might help us know whether Alzheimer's disease is causing it. But we're not ready to use it as a screening tool. That's very important. Okay, yeah, that was the point I, I, I think is critical here. You're suggesting this is a powerful research tool. Absolutely. But you're not suggesting that, like breast cancer, this is something we would want to do with any frequency or with any sort of widespread popularity. No, absolutely. Right now, this is a research tool. And I I think it'll be maybe take us five or ten years before we know what it means to have amyloid in your brain as a normal person. Because there's probably many factors that affect that, not just amyloid. It's education and other health problems. But someday we're going to come up with a risk score, just like we have for heart disease or breast cancer, that'll tell us the likelihood that you're moving in that direction. And one of the frightening things about Alzheimer's is it appears that if we get in late, we can't reverse the damage. It's not like uh, coronary artery disease where we can reverse it or at least arrest it using diet and exercise and drugs. But here, so far, it appears that if it gets bad, we, we might be able to slow it, but there's no current hope for reversal. Well, in fact, the, the cardiac disease, as you said, if we could go in there and suck out all of the amyloid before you had a brain attack, it might work. So there might ultimately be therapies at some point where we see this at a progression point, but feel we can intervene and reverse it through, through some mechanism still yet to determine, but we might actually right. do it. I greatly hope that one of these drugs in clinical trials will reverse Alzheimer's disease at the stage of dementia, but ultimately the way to do it is before people get symptoms at all. Great. Lisa, thank you very much, and I'm going to take that clicker from you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Bye-bye.